Hello, my name is Maria El Fadel and I'm the Field Communications Officer for Doctors Without Borders here in Amman, Jordan. We're currently in front of the Reconstructive Surgery Hospital, where we've been treating well wounded patients from all over the Middle East for over 10 years now. In this hospital, we treat an average of 200 patients. We have an operational theater with three surgery rooms, a physiotherapy department, and a psychosocial department. We specialize in orthopedic, plastic, and maxillofacial surgery. Now let me show you our outpatient department. Our patients are referred to us by medical liaison officers who work all over the region. When they first arrive here, they come to the outpatient department for their first medical assessment. They also come here at the end of their treatment for a final follow-up. Hidden in the basement is one of our key departments of the hospital, the microbiology lab. Unfortunately, many patients don't receive the treatment that they need in their home countries and therefore arrive in the hospital with multi-drug resistant infections. Hi May, would you mind telling us a bit about your work? Yes, of course. Well, I'm May, I'm the microbiology lab supervisor. And what we're doing here exactly is that we subcultivate all the samples we have from the patients that we receive here mm -hmm. to see if they are having infections or not. And if they are having infection, if it's really resistant infection, a bad infection, or is it a sensitive one. And then we release the results to the doctors and they do the rest of the job. Now we're going into the physiotherapy department. Physiotherapy is a core element of the patient's rehabilitation process. Regular sessions will help the patients regain their mobility and the occupational therapist will help them carry out day-to-day -day tasks. My colleague Rula, who works here as a physiotherapist, can explain her work further to us. Um, we'll come here. Actually, we have here a case of amputation due to mind injury. After he's receiving his prosthesis, he's in a very program for gait training and stirs and for functional activities. We are trying now to go through these obstacles to turn his muscle to be more strong and then through the stirs. Here we are in the outdoor social and recreational area. Because our patients stay here for several months, we care about not only providing them with medical treatments, but also with psychological support and social and recreational activities, such as gardening, sports activities, and there is even a school for the children. And finally, a project that has only started recently in 2017, the 3D printing project. The 3D team provides upper limb amputees with prosthetic arms to improve their quality of life. We design the prosthetic arms to meet every patient's specific needs. And with every fitting, we can therefore improve the quality. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the visit.